Hi, in this video we're going to be looking at pronumerals. And as this little picture describes or shows, we actually have a letter that can actually represent a number. Okay, so letters represent numbers. Now in the past we've always had a little box over here, something plus 4 is equal to 9. And we can solve that something by saying, well, what added to 4 gives us 9? And we know that that would be 5. So now instead of using that box over there, we're going to actually use letters. And we can use any letter, A, B, C, X, Y, Z, it doesn't matter what it is. So these letters are actually called pronumerals. And the word pronumeral, the pro stands for, and numeral is number. So pronumerals stand for numbers. So here's a little bit of a worked example. So x is a number, and x plus 4 is equal to 6. So we need to find what x is. And in the past, we would have actually said, well, this was actually a square, or something, plus 4 is equal to 6. And we need to solve what the value of x is. And in this case, we know that it's going to be 2 plus 4 is equal to 6. Therefore, x is equal to 2. And we would have got that correct. All right, well, there's three little examples over here. See if you can find the value of x in each of these questions. Put the video on pause and come back when you're ready. All right, how do we go with the first one? x take away 4 is equal to 13. What is the value of x? Well, I know that 17 take away 4 is equal to 13. Therefore, x must equal 17. And we would have got that one right. All right, what about the second one? We got 14 divided by x equals 2. So 14 divided by something must give me 2. And we know, therefore, that 14 divided by 7 is equal to 2. Therefore, x must equal 7. Well done. And how would we go with the last one? x multiplied by 3 equals 27. And I know my times tables, and I know that 9 multiplied by 3 is equal to 27. Therefore, x must equal 9. Hope you got those three right. All right, we can also have word problems, um, something similar to the one that we've got here. I am a number. When 7 is added to me, the answer is 15. Who am I? So what number am I? So I'm going to use algebra to solve this little problem. So I'm going to write it something like this. The number is going to be x plus 7 is equal to 15. And now all I need to do is I need to solve what the value of x is. And quite simply, 8 plus 7 is equal to 15. Therefore, the value of x must be 8. Well done. Right, well, here's one for you to solve. I'm a number. When I'm multiplied by 5, the product is 30. Who am I? See if you can set it out using algebra and then solve it. Uh, put the video on pause and come back when you're ready. All right, well, how did we go? Well, simply using algebra, I'm going to rewrite it. I'm a number, so I need to find x. And when I am multiplied by 5, the product is 30. Something very important with that x over there and that multiplied over there. Can you see that that is not the same as that x? Okay, that is an x value and that is multiplied. So in algebra and in fact in mathematics, we need to be very careful of the symbols we use. All right, having said that, what multiplied by 5 is going to give me 30? Well, I know that 6 times 5 is equal to 30. Therefore, the value of x must be 6. Well done. Right, and also in algebra, we can substitute a number for a pronumeral. So, for example, in this sum over here, x times 3, I want x to be 7. So, 7, which is the value of x, times 3, and I solve it, and I end up with the answer of 21. Right, well, here's a little bit of a worked example. Mary has three bags of apples. 
the total number of apples is in this expression over here, 3 times a. So how many apples does Mary have if a is equal to 4, and secondly, if a is equal to 10? So we're going to use this expression over here, and we're simply going to substitute the value of a, in this case 4, into this equation. All right, put the video on pause and give it a go. Come back when you're ready. All right, well, I've rewritten my expression, which is 3 times a. I've put it over there, and I have substituted the value of a for 4 over here. So it's 3 times 4, and obviously my answer, therefore, 3 4s are 12. So she has 12 apples. Okay, so that one would be correct. Well done. And question 2, well, 3 times a is equal to 3, and the value of a in this case is now 10. So 3 times 10 would give me 30 apples. Okay, so that one would also be correct. Well done. All right, so what I hope you've taken away from this is that a pronumeral is a letter, and a letter can stand for a number, and the number can be any number. A letter can be any letter, um, and that's pretty much it.